Mikey B off work sports once again. NFL season's on, baby. And you know who's kicking. I talked about the receiver, excuse me, the quarterbacks, the running backs, but we never got into the receivers. And right now, we look at our top 10 for week number four, going into week number four. So don't count Devontae Adams because he played last night. Keenan Allen out of the Los Angeles Chargers. Number one receiver, 404 yards in total, three touchdowns. Doing his thing out there in L.A. Got to respect the game for Keenan Allen. Devontae Adams, we all saw him last night for the Green Bay Packers. What a game for him. Aaron Rodgers was doing his thing with Mr. Devontae Adams. He's a star in the making. He always seems, Green Bay always seems to come up with these receivers. If you remember Donald Driver from back in the day, he was an awesome receiver. Looks like Devontae Adams is taking the helm. Plus, he has uh, big tight ends. He has a nice little core there, Aaron Rodgers, running game. So, we should see big things in Green Bay, even though they took the loss last night to the Philadelphia Philadelphia Eagles. Next up, Sammy Watkins with Mount Holmes. So, Pat Mahomes doing his thing, and his main guy is Sammy Watkins out of the Kansas City Chiefs. He's a great receiver. He's the first receiver for the team, number one option. And right now, he's third ranked, 311 yards in total, 15 and a half per, three touchdowns, has five um, or more catches over 20 yards, which shows his speed. So, you got to love what you see out of Sammy Watkins, incredible competitor. Great job for Patrick. Mahomes making things happen with Sammy Watkins. Here goes the surprise of the bunch. I didn't really see much of the Cincinnati Bengals, but man, John Ross is doing his thing. John Ross is making things happen, and and the reason being, obviously, is the quarterback position. You know, you probably want to swap out quarterbacks, switch out the Cleveland Browns quarterback for the for the Cincinnati Bengals if you could. But John Ross is taking advantage of one of the better quarterbacks in the league in this, on the Cincinnati Bengals and doing his thing, making the catches. 13 receptions, guess what? Oh, just 13 receptions, but he has 290 total yards receiving. God love what you're seeing out of John Ross. Next up, we're talking about Beckham boy, right? So imagine if Odell Beckham had Baker Mayfield on full stride. Y'all like Odell Beckham, number five receiver in the league, 288 yards on 19 receptions, has one touchdown. You know, four catches over 20. His breakout game was back home, back in New Jersey. I'm from that area. Played against the Jets, did his thing there. Next up, Travis Kelsey. You see the the trend here? Patrick Mahomes is doing his thing with the Kansas City Chiefs. And Travis Kelsey, along with um, Sammy Watkins, are doing their thing. Travis Kelsey, for a tight end to be ranked in the top 10 receivers, is tremendous. He's making all the catches. He's the number one tight end in the NFL today. Going down, Baltimore, you got to like what you see from Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson, man, he's having a tremendous season, but his main receiver is Hollywood Brown off of the Baltimore Ravens. Got to like what you see out of Hollywood. Top receiver there, has 14 receptions, 282 yards. Got to love what you see out of Mr. Marquise Hollywood Brown. Like what I'm seeing from that team. Uh, they're exciting. They're the number number one most number two most exciting team to see. I like what I see out of the Baltimore Ravens and what I see out of Hollywood Brown. Gotta love that. Now, here goes the surprise of the bunch. You know, I was talking trash about Jamius Winston. You know, Jamius Winston, I said he wasn't gonna be able to do his thing, but guess what? Guess what? Mike Evans had a breakout game the other day. 14 receptions, 279 yards. Scored three touchdowns, a majority of his yardage was captured in the last game that lost to the New York Giants. You know, everyone saw Daniel Jones come through, make his thing happen. So, great game for Mike Evans. He came through, and actually, Jamie's Winston family finally came through with some accuracy. I love that. Okay. Now, here it goes into our number nine and ten. You know, I want I want to get some honorable mentions up there because we're going to see, as you look down, look at number 15 and number 14. Mike Thomas, Julio Jones are perennial uh, top wide receivers in the game. You also see Larry Fitzgerald, even at his old age, able to do his thing. But some newcomers that have taken over the block, DJ Shark, Jacksonville Jaguars. You can't believe it, huh? Well, yeah, Jacksonville has a wide receiver in the top 10. DJ Shark, 15 receptions, 277 yards. God love what you're seeing from DJ. It's a surprise to see what they're doing in Jacksonville, but they have a pretty tight core. They're probably the number, you know, 
they have a chance to make the playoffs, but it's going to be a tight run for this team. I really like what I see from DJ. And then we talked about Daniel Jones. Again, Daniel Jones, incredible, incredible game against Tampa Bay Bucks. And even Ingram, even Ingram is the big tight end that he was going to in the game versus the Bucks. Incredible experience from him. He's also a young rookie, 23 receptions, 277 yards. Last but not least, and I don't even see DK Metcalf on here, so that's the other guy we want to talk about. So I want to honorable mention DK Metcalf, third round pick. He slipped, he slipped, he slipped. They said he couldn't run a route. But guess what? He's doing his thing with Mr. Wilson over in Seattle. What do you know the number one receiver is for Mr. Wilson? It's not DK Metcalf, it's his brother, Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett. Number 10 receiver in the NFL, 277 yards, 22 receptions. Got to love what you're seeing. You see everyone's tied for 10 up there. Great games, great receivers. Can't wait for Sunday. Will these guys keep it up or will the big dog start to move up? That's the question. Off Work Sports signing off. See Julio coming up. See Larry Fitzgerald. Who's up next? Juju Smith-Schuster. Can they come back in the top 10? We shall see. Time will tell. Off Work Sports signing off. Peace.